Jamie, in your sermon today, you talked about the word resolve. Why is it that we have such a hard time making a resolve, determining what we want to do? Yeah, that's a good question, and I, and, I, and I think it really is true that for any of us who have tried resolves, actually some of them come easy to make but really hard to follow through on. I mean, it doesn't even take a New Year's resolution to show us that. We just do it all the time. And on a spiritual level, I think it's ten times harder to make a resolve. I think that on a spiritual level, because we have the kingdom of darkness against us, because we have our own flesh against us, because we have the world at many times against us, that there's a lot of enemies uh, combating us when we go to make a resolve that will positively affect us for the kingdom of God. And so I think it is hard to make a resolve. I think it's even harder to follow through with them. And so some of the things that I've learned over the years is this, is to one, be very humble with how you approach your resolves. If you go into it kind of like maybe a sports player would, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to nail this, then I think what happens is, is that you find that when you got the world and the kingdom of darkness and your own flesh against you, you know, you don't have the strength in and of yourself to carry through with your resolves. And if you think you do, you're just going to fail. And so we make the resolve, but then we very much with humility, we say to God, help us. Give me grace, Lord, to carry through with this. And we fall on our knees and we depend on him each moment of each day. Second thing you got to do is that when you start to struggle with your resolves, not if, but usually when, um, fall on his grace and receive his forgiveness. I think sometimes guilt overwhelms us, at least it does for me, so much. Like, oh, I, I fell through once again and I can't carry through with that resolve, and then we just give up. And the reality is, is that if you can learn to receive his forgiveness and realize that Jesus was tempted with everything that we were, the scriptures tell us, and yet was without sin, but therefore he has great compassion on us. It allows you to pick yourself up before you fall too much and just to keep going with your resolve. So those are a couple of things that I've found over the years. I do think that the resolves that we make as a church will determine the spiritual strength that we have. And so this is an important issue. I think this is what Daniel's going to teach us, and that the resolves we make will allow us to see and experience his faithfulness to us.